Hello everybody, this is uh, Farm Schween, or Gkin09, whichever one. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys my world here. Me and my brother and some friends started a server, and we played on it for about two months or so, and, you know, as it goes, uh, after a little while, somebody either uses a mod or becomes an op and starts spawning stuff like crazy, so people lost a little bit of interest, and that's kind of what happened here. Um, but uh, there's a couple of things that I worked pretty hard on, and spent a lot of time on. I figure I would uh, um, record it so I had some sort of record of it before we deleted the map <laughs> and started a new one. So yeah, let's get started. This is my tree farm, as you can tell. Um, it's an underwater tree farm, um, so we're at the bottom of the ocean right now. Not a very large tree farm, but uh, got the job done. Um, let me show you uh, the entryway. Yeah. So I originally was going to make a tunnel from uh, over there to down here, but um, I started working on it, and I figured out this cool little way to get a lamp, uh, or to get a one block over a torch and not have it be put out, and I just thought it looked really cool. Um, so yeah, in this way, uh, you know, creepers and spiders really have no way to get down here because they don't spawn underwater, so it was relatively safe. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty nice over there. So this whole area was built uh, on a vanilla server. We started on vanilla anyways for about the first month and a half, and then, you know, the last week or so, two weeks, we got into creative mode and um, started spawning stuff and got a little crazy and we all just kind of lost interest. So um, yeah, here's my first attempt at a cobblestone generator. And I was really unhappy with the way it worked. You know, it was kind of slow and cumbersome and I had to move the mouse back and forth. And so these kind of got abandoned. Um, I built another one that I'll show you a little bit later, which works a lot better, I think. Um, this is my watermelon farm, as you can see. Uh, I use watermelon mainly as my source of food because uh, you drop so many um, uh, drop so many watermelon slices and it just seemed to be the most efficient way and uh, you know I spent some diamonds on some hose ha <laughs> anyways um, this is a little foyer uh, and that's to the train station which I'll show you in a little bit but first I'm going to show you my storage room which I think is pretty cool um, ta-da you may be asking yourself, Farm Schween, how in the world did you get that chest to open with a block on top of it? And the secret is, is that this block is actually a backwards facing stair. And if you put stairs over a chest, it allows you to still open. So, um, and if you can see back there, but that's actually a double chest, but you can only see one side of it. So you can only have one square and it makes it pretty compact. And I thought this is a pretty efficient way to do things. So, yeah, pretty cool idea, I thought. I'll take you up here and show you the outside. So this is the uh, front area, some flowers, and um, this is the little cove I was I was uh, building in. I thought it was pretty tucked away. It's pretty far away from the spawn. In fact, I'm about about 1,200 blocks from the spawn, and maybe 600 blocks or so from the nearest player. And, um, which isn't that far, but you know, made it nice when we wanted to meet up and check each other's stuff out and whatnot. Uh, I wanted to show you this dock and get some opinions on it. Um, I've been using the water to half step uh, method, and uh, it doesn't really work that well for me. I've tried a bunch of different ways. I've tried, uh, you know, if I get rid of these blocks here, you see that the water comes down to right about level. But when I do this, I just run right into the half step, and when I do it the other way, I take way too much damage and sometimes even die from falling. So I ended up just kind of floating in here and then disembarking on the wood and pushing my boat up here for safekeeping, but it got a little bit annoying. So um, I looked up some other dock methods, and as you can see, that's my castle over there, which we'll, we'll make it to eventually. Um, but I made a different dock design um, that I actually stole from a tutorial on YouTube, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll come back here and show you my farm. Um, it's a pretty basic farm. I got some cacti and some wheat going on, some pumpkins and reeds. Uh, a little mushroom farm over here in the door. I'll show you. Um, it was really unfortunate. I had a really nice little setup that uh, caused two block or a block to come down and block this, and a block to go up. Um, so it, you know, these mushrooms could grow in complete darkness. I had like a little light switch, but <laughs> one night our our uh, save got corrupted before we got the chance to back it up, so we lost about four hours of work. It was really frustrating and disappointing. Um, but anyways, uh, here is a little kennel that I made for some animals. I didn't get too much into breeding. I didn't really understand the system uh, that well. I guess I still don't, but haven't uh, 
haven't really experimented too much with it, but I'm going to show you my house here. I'm pretty proud of this house. I spent a lot of time on it. It's very unlike things I usually build. Usually I build stuff that's uh, very symmetrical and, and kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, looks like it was printed out of a, a 3D printer or something, but this was kind of organic. I used a lot of the Fibonacci sequence and I used a lot of asymmetrical qualities and I think overall it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to show you the inside here. Here's the living room. Um, the table with a, that's actually a pressure plate on top of a fence post and then uh, uh, some stairs with a sign on the side that make it look like a chair. Uh, use some half steps for a coffee table and overall the feel of the room just I think it feels really nice. Um, you know I got the got it five high and eight wide which are numbers that are adjacent to each other in the Fibonacci sequence and then the floor itself is 13 wide which you know it, it, it makes it come together really nicely I think um, you know, we got a third over here and then two thirds and it just separates nicely. Now I'll show you a little bit of whoops a little bit of a secret that I've got going on. I got like a nice little room down here with a chest <laughs> made out of diamonds. As you can tell this section was uh, not made until after we went into creative mode naturally. But, um, yeah, I guess now you can actually mine uh, diamond blocks if you have the Silk Touch enchantment, which I haven't been fortunate enough to find. But here's another little understair uh, secret chest, which it's not really that secret, but a lot of people don't really notice that this is a uh, pressure plate. And I got some binary going on. I won't tell you what it means. But yeah, I'll show you the upstairs. There's something interesting. I've noticed this with any block that's, or any stair that's not made of wood or cobblestone, um, tends to have this black square over the top of it. Um, and I think it's a little bit unsightly, but the look of cobblestone stairs on this stone brick was also unsightly, so I chose to keep it anyway, but I don't know what's going on with that. So here's my room, pretty straightforward. Um, nothing special or secret in here, this is just my spawn point really. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the floor, it's supposed to be our rocket ship. So, yeah. Alright. That's about it for the house. Um, it doesn't look like much, but it took me quite a while, you know, just kind of designing and building along. And I usually <laughs> lay out a sketch on some grid paper before I do anything, but that one just sort of went for it. And I really like the way it turned out. Here in a minute I'll do a flyover so you can see uh, the, whole, the whole thing. But first I'm going to show you this guy. This is my lighthouse. All of this clay was obtained legitimately. I <laughs> used my fence post trick, and um, that's where you have a fence post at face level, and it acts as an air bubble, kind of. It's really, really convenient for building or mining underwater. Um, yeah, so I built this whole thing, and you have a really good view from up here. Um, there's my house. See, it's just kind of a kind of an unusual shape, but I think it looks really nice. There you can see my deck, which for some reason I didn't show you while we were over there, but um, now everybody knows that blocks float, so they don't need these support beams here, but you know, I think it looks really good, and those those support beams go all the way down to the bottom of the floor, or the ocean floor. Um, there's a pool on there that <laughs> doesn't really have a use, but I think it looks nice. Um, you know, that guy up there is an observatory, which uh, was obviously built after we got into creative mode, and I'm not really that happy with it, so I won't, I won't show you that part, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll take you over here to my my castle, which you know, I'm really happy. Wow, look at the vines really took off. <laughs> I went and collected a bunch of vines and put them all over the place, and man, they grew like crazy. Look at that. But uh, I was mentioning before the new dock design that I built, and um, I can't take credit for the design itself because I took it from a tutorial online, but it works really well. I got the slow stand here to block the, or to slow you down as on your approach so you don't smash into the wall and break your boat, and then the switch here uh, controls that those fence posts so you can glide on over and then when you get in you open it up and your boat doesn't go anywhere and it you know it works really nicely and it has a good look to it I think too. So I got that one there and then I got another one over here um, that has a boat in it so you can see and then I've got this little area here where you can arrive on foot if you so desire. I'll come in take you in here and check out this area. Um, Man, the vines really added something to it. It looks it looks abandoned, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, I made started out with this wall that uh, surrounded sort of an arbitrary land, and so all this was uh, totally empty, um, except for some trees and some shrubbery and whatnot. So I put some uh, farms in here. You know, I really just didn't want any 
un or any wasted space, any unused space. Uh, so uh, really unusual for me again. All of this is kind of asymmetrical, and it sort of used the lay of the land to build it all, which um, you know really isn't that breathtaking, but it was uh, you know way different than what I usually do. So I'm pretty happy with it the way it turned out. I think it sort of has inspired a new form of design in my mind. I think so. Hopefully it'll cross over in some of my other creations. But uh, I got this little bridge going on here. I, I like it. Some cakes that are unused, but <laughs> they're cute. Um, yeah, I'll take you over here to the other side. Um, where I've got a guest house. This is actually my um, little build point, uh, my spawn point. I have another bed in the castle, but it's a lot less accessible. And, you know, I could sleep here and make it night, or make it day, and and then go right back out to building. It was really useful. And then when I was done with it, I turned it into a guest house. So if friends come to visit, they can make it day <laughs> if they need. There's my reed farm. Um, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of really cool spaces in here that I could use for little secret hidey holes and chests and whatnot. But uh, the server's about to die, and we're probably going to delete the map here pretty soon. So I just wanted to record what I did have. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my storage room. As you can tell, the design is very similar to the one over yonder. Um, uh, the only difference here really is that uh, it's made of wood, so any stair or any block that's above a chest here is just a wood stair facing backwards and it works exactly the same. So you can open the chest just fine and yeah. So here is the cobblestone generator, the one that I was telling you about before. It's much more efficient. Um, you just hit this switch here and then it just For some reason, it's not working now, but uh, usually it poops these blocks out in a line, and then uh, with a stone pickaxe, which I have an iron one now, you can mine it at the same rate. Um, I don't know why it's not working. I'm not going to take the time to repair it, because as I said, this map's about to die, but you get the general idea. It was pretty cool. So I'll take you up here. This is my uh, grand ballroom, or not really a ballroom. I guess it's a, a dining hall, <laughs> grand dining hall. Um, yeah, just uh, got some tables and chairs here and a nice little uh, lighting arrangement with some lava above. And uh, it looks like I forgot a glass block there, so that's fine. <laughs> it just went right on through. But um, yeah, I'll show you my uh, enchanting room, potion brewing room. I call this the wizardry tower. Um, here's my brewing station. Um, yeah, and I got this blocks of water. I don't really understand why anyone would use uh, a cauldron because they deplete after three bottles, whereas this depletes, not doesn't deplete at all. So, enchanting table, not surrounded by 30 bookshelves, but, um, you know, I built this before I learned that, so, um, eh. Um, so yeah, that's basically my whole area, um, besides maybe, uh, a few little things I didn't show you. I'm going to show you here. Um, I've got people on my server that are, uh, we've played together for so long that we've sort of learned each other's tricks about, uh, you know, how to hide stuff and how to find levers and whatnot. So I just built an area. I'd usually have two stone bricks here and then I just have to mine it away. So it's a little bit more inaccessible than, you know, having a secret switch or something. So um, yeah, and up here is my, my bedroom, my master suite that, um, you know, I'm going to blame an Enderman for that one. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really know what happened here, but um, it used to look like that. And uh, what in the world? Uh, it looks like I got griefed. Oh, well. So I got a couple chests here filled with some uh, goodies that obviously I put in there after the creative mode binge that we went on. But, um, yeah, I'll give you a little fly around here before I say goodbye. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the map we've got going on. I think the proportions are really good. And you know, it looks natural, it doesn't look contrived at all, and I really like the use of the Fibonacci sequence and almost everything I did, um, and it really gives it a good flow, I think. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you um, like my stuff, or maybe you got an idea. If not, then that's fine too. This is mainly for, you know, just a record of what I built and how far I've come in my Minecraft days. So, have a good day.